Okay, so today I thought I'd um, do something a little different. Uh, since I've started all grain, I haven't made a kitten kilo batch. Well, mini mash. So I'm going to make a mini mash, and it consists of. Let me just swap the camera around. Consists of three kilos of grains. It's uh, Marisota, Biscuit, and Munich. Um, one can of Lion Real Ale, a USO5, and let's get on with it. So we're getting our um, strike water up to temperature. We're looking for around about 70 degrees because it's going to pop down a little bit once we put the uh, grains in. So I might just... And this is going to be really tough because I've got to keep the mash at the, the correct temperature using the element which is generally the lowest setting on this does it perfectly so we're at 64 at the moment so I'll get the grains ready and I forgot to mention that along with the other recipe uh, the other ingredients I've got um, uh, a half a kilo of uh, dry malt unhopped light dry malt extract so that is that. And I've got my fermenter <coughs> In, uh, with uh, 5 litres of sodium bicarbonate, 1 teaspoon per litre, uh, just cleaning out the bottom of the, um, the bottom of the, um, the fermentation vessel. Right, we've just hit 69, so I think that's going to be close enough for now. I hope I'm going to fit all of these grains in there. I guess we're going to find out. Oh, 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 oh. Just about forgot. Put in my... I will take that out for a second. is a pretty simple way for guys that are not quite there at the uh, the all grain side of things just yet. It's a good way Try not to get any dough balls in there. If you do, you can always squash them against the side and they soon go away. See, I just got one there. It's been some time since I've done a mini mash.
just about have too much in there. Three kilos is nine liters of water. Be right back. And there it is, all wrapped up. I'm going to let that go an hour. And we'll get back after the hour's up. It's currently a little bit high. It's at 68. But after the hour, it'll be down around 65, 66. Cheers. Okay, so we'll take... It's been an hour. We'll take this coiled off, dump it down there, and it seems I've underestimated the amount of grains I've got, but however, we will survive, because through the magic of television, See that pouring out the bottom? It's a fairly good sized bag of grains, but and what we'll do is we will attempt to. much of this as we can. Turn it on to full. need a fourth pot, a third pot. We'll just grab that little one there.
as you can see we're fast approaching the boil and I've got 100 grams of Pacific Gem that I'm going to use approximately 50 grams for a 5 minute boil and 50 grams at flame out because that's how I like it nice and hot bad Just hitting our rolling boil now. We'll zoom in a little bit. Just getting the hot break. You can pretty much let it do its thing at this stage because that's not going to boil over. Yeah, I told you so. a boil. I need to cut that back a little bit till we hit a nice rolling boil which I think we've hit about now. So in they go for five minutes. And I'll set my timer for five minutes. The only reason I used Pacific Gem was because I had 200 grams of it sitting around so I thought why not give it a bash, why not give it a punch in the face. Oh we don't need that anymore, we don't need that anymore. I shall go and get the fermenter ready and uh, and I'll be back after five minutes and we'll add the uh, flame out addition. Okay, so it's been five minutes on the boil. We'll turn the element off. We'll take it off the heat. And we will add our 50 minute, uh, I mean 20 minute, uh, Flame out addition of 50 grams of Pacific Jade.
it on there. And we will leave that for 15, uh, for 20 minutes. Done like a dog's dinner. And we'll get on with the next step shortly. Okay, so we have managed to um, get that side of things all sorted. We've dry, uh, we've uh, done a hop stand for 20 minutes. And I'll just let this drain out. It's a very woody sort of a I don't know, it's not citrusy. It's a sort of woody, oaky kind of a characteristic. Sort of similar to the warrior hop, I find. But that's, that's all good. extract first because that clumps up and that's a son of a bitch once it clumps up to get it unclumped. I have no clue what this beer is going to turn out like. Well, I have some kind of idea. doesn't have to be brought up to a boil, it's just to, to get rid of these clumps, and that is good enough, so we'll turn the heat off, oh shit, can I, oh dear.
Minja. Okay. Okay. Tap off. Yes. Now, I just have to move you guys a little bit. Feeling pretty good. What we'll do is we will. Ah, here it is. We'll get a temperature reading. Yes, now you can pitch the yeast that comes with the kit, and some of them are alright, but I prefer to just make sure that it's going to be alright and pitch USO5. And I give it a wee stir. take a hydrometer reading, I haven't got my hydrometer out yet, I'll take a hydrometer reading and uh, post on the, I'll put a uh, thing on the screen what the uh, final, the original gravity was. Cheers, drink or beers, peace.